Thank you for joining us today in this training session on how to configure your CodeSoft network. Today we'll be going over setting up your licensing utility on your server and then connecting the network workstation to the licensing server. We're going to start on the licensing server and we're going to go to Start, All Programs, TechLinks Network Utilities, and Network Toolbar. We're going to go to Service License Controller to make sure that the service is started. If it's not, you'll want to hit play. If you're getting an error or it's just not starting, one of the common issues is permissions. So to correct that, we'll want to go to the Start menu, and then in the search bar, type in services.mse to get to the Windows Services snap-in. The Network Utilities installs a service called S-License. So we're going to search for the S-License service and when we get it we're going to right click on it and go to properties. Once we're in the properties window we're going to go to the logon tab and we're going to switch it from local system account to specific account and you're going to put in your local administrator credentials. This differs based <coughs> on environment so if you don't have this information, you're going to want to go to your IT department, who, whoever is in charge of that. Once you have that information in, you want to hit apply. And then it's going to tell you that the service needs to be restarted. So hit OK and hit OK. And while you're in the snap-in, just keep the service highlighted. And in the upper left, you'll see restart. and now your licensing server is configured. We'll now need to switch to the computer with CodeSoft on it. If you have 2014 or up, you can do this in the start menu. If it's below 2014, you'll have to go into the trial version of the software and go to Tools and Network Administration. So in the start menu, you want to go to All Programs, TechLinks CodeSoft 2014, Network Administration. You're going to check Use Network License and then put the name of the computer with the licensing utility in the text box below. Now, if you're getting a message saying that I cannot find the licensing server, the easiest way to make sure that you can communicate with that is to go to the start menu, and then in the search bar type backslash backslash the name of the server backslash tk dongle. If you cannot access this directory, then this workstation cannot communicate with your licensing server. If that is the case, you'll want to get in contact with your IT department to make sure that these computers can see each other across the network. So now we're just going to make sure that everything's working. We're going to go to Start All Programs, CodeSoft 2014, and open the application. As you can see, it's opening with a license. Thank you for joining us today, and if you need further help, you can always check our knowledge base at kb.techlease.com or give our support line a phone call. Thank you, and have a great day.